Welcome everybody to Old Trafford. We are here to do it all over again. It's another Barclays Premier League season. I'm Simon Kios of YouTube. We're going to be following Manchester United once again, who have been the massive spenders in this year's transfer window. There's no other re way to really say it. Uh, spendings across the board and uh, probably the biggest spending that Manchester United have done in many a year now. So many new players coming in, most of them making their debuts either on the bench or on the outfield this afternoon. So many names will to be going out though, the likes of Javier Hernandez and that, most of them are under threat. But two making their debuts today, Memphis Depay bought from PSV towards the end of last season and the newly signed Matteo Darmian uh, from FC Torino in Italy. So Matteo Darmian is a complete unknown in many regards. He'll be looking to make a name for himself in quite possibly the biggest club in the world right now. And with a lot of expectation on their shoulders, big things are expected of them this season. So Joe Romero plays in goal with Sam Johnston making the bench as the David De Gea transfer saga continues. Damian makes his debut with Chris Smalling, Paddy McNair, and Luke Shaw in defence. Another debutant is Sergio Bahino up front, Young in the pipe through the wings, Rooney and Hemwood in the midfield with Herrera. Hugo Lloris starts in goal for Tottenham with Kyle Walker, Tony and Underworld, Jan Vertonghen and Davis, Mason, Dembele, Lamella, Chadley in the midfield uh, with Eriksen and Harry Kane is the lone striker. Mike Dean is the referee and uh, it is really the start of the new era as far as Manchester United are concerned. Uh, many names came in at the end of the last transfer window as well, but two of them are gone. Romeo Falcao's uh, loan expired with no extension and Angel Di Maria is also gone. And probably one of the biggest U-turns in the history. Uh, Angel Di Maria is now off to PSV. And Aaron Hemwood loses the ball immediately to Christian Eriksen here. But if I know Aaron Hemwood, he's going to go chasing after him. And uh, Angel Di Maria is not the only one to be leaving. Robin Van Persie is off to uh, Besiktas, I believe it is, or Fernabache, my apologies, as was Nani. Uh, Raphael is looking to be going to Leon, and the likes of Andan Yanazai and Javier Hernandez are unknowns. Many, uh, much talk of Yanazai going on loan, in particular to Borussia Dortmund, under their new manager. As Johan Klopp is uh, only in, uh, I guess, sabbatical at the moment. And uh, we're going to get an early free kick for Tottenham. And another transfer confirmed uh, early in the window. And that is probably the biggest one of them all. The biggest shock is Bastian Schweinsteiger from Bayern Munich signing for Manchester United. You would have never thought that in a million years, basically, as Bastian Schweinsteiger. He's a loyal player, but uh, he's won it all in Germany and he wants a new challenge. And I think the best league in the world, okay, the Premier League, is the way to go. So, Bastian Schweinsteiger is probably, in, in some regards, the biggest signing for Manchester United as he's won it all. And uh, let's not forget that Manchester United are in the Champions League this season, albeit they have to qualify uh, in a two-leg qualifying match. As the matter touches it out of play. And Sergio Romero, the uh, first Premier League start for him. The David De Gea saga continues, still no signing from Real Madrid. Um, it's, it's a wonder what they're doing. You know, Real Madrid normally, they get this, uh, is done, but David De Gea, there's just no progress has been made. But to be fair, Manchester United have uh, repeatedly said he's not for sale. It's amazing though because we all thought David De Gea had played his last game at the end of last season. And Victor Valdez made the bench, or made the team rather. And uh, David De Gea didn't even make the bench those last two games. He was out with injury to be fair. But, uh, and there's an early shot from Eriksen. But David De Gea's saga continues, and will he even go to Real Madrid? And if Romero does well in these first few games, leading up to the end of the transfer window, will he even make the team? 
under Herrera. That's a magnificent first touch, but he's going to get brought down. And with his uh, passing to Young, who was offside anyway. The Lions are going to swag him for it. So much expectation on the shoulders of this Manchester United side. The signings are in place. And lost Di Maria in the such already, though. Even Van Persie was getting on a bit, but he still could have given Manchester United some crucial goals. And if Jafé Hernandez leaves, and that leaves Manchester United with three known strikers in James Wilson, Wayne Rooney, and uh, well, actually that'd be two known strikers, I think. Yeah, two known strikers in Wayne Rooney and James Wilson, yes. Although Sadio Bahino has made his debut, so that's a third. So Sadio Bahino brought over from West Brom for a cool £9 million. Pounds. We be uh, a bargain, considering that, but... Uh, Manchester United's current weakness is the strikers. And Aaron Hillman takes a shot. And, uh, well, you wouldn't say that with Aaron Hillman to the end of the last season. So many goals scored. And unfortunately, he was only good enough for fourth place. Manchester City and Chelsea. And the like were long gone. By the time Manchester United hit the stride, it was far too late. But uh, they still got into the Champions League. And that was the objective for Louis van Gaal. But the real rebuild starts now. Manchester United. It's going to be Villa Park against Aston Villa. One that my good friend at Merce YT13 is probably really looking forward to. Or not. You'll have to ask him that. <laughs> Remember the goal kick. It depends. It probably depends on uh, how Manchester United will approach the game. But just with the signings alone, I think fear might have been struck back into the opposition. The likes of Manchester City have responded. Kevin De Bruyne could be coming over from uh, FC Wolfsburg in Germany. That could be a big one. Otto Mendy uh, obviously being looked at as well, supposedly. And Manchester City defence. That would be a great partner with uh, Vincent Company. Aaron Hemwood just misjudging the flight of the ball slightly. Though he is uh, penalised for a foul. Next for Tottenham will be White Hart Lane and Spurs. Uh, White Hart Lane and Stoke, my apologies. <laughs> yeah, Spurs raising themselves. Now nah, it's Stoke City against uh, accuser Stoke City, that is. And that'll be White Hart Lane back at home for Tottenham. Free kick. Made away by Rooney, of all people. And Herrera with a nice looking flick there. Rohinia, Memphis, Memphis Depay. Catching many people's eyes this time around. Manchester United signed at the uh, signed in June, but was officially brought over in the start of the summer window. He's uh, goes on a run and it's a bad hit ball. And uh, Eriksson makes it easy for Manchester United, really. Gives Romero nothing to think about. Headed in by Bohemia, but he goes down. Exit. And, uh, a few shirt changes for Manchester United. Uh, Fellaini is now number 27 as Bastian Swainsteiger takes the 31 shirt. Luke Shaw now takes 23, so Aaron Hillwood's now down to 32. And uh, Hillwood was quite obliging. Give uh, Luke Shaw his. Uh, Quote, lucky number, he said. So, Hillwood is now back down to 32 again. I think he had that a couple of seasons back. Maybe it was three seasons back. I think it was like the year after Carlos Tevez had left. And, uh, Ferguson said that Hemwood kind of reminded him of Tevez, so he thought the number would match, and it did pretty well. But then, Louis van Gaal, like we said, that the game put that change, and that, I think it was the Arsenal game. Louis van Gaal said uh, that we're pretty much reminded of Michael Jordan in terms of his work ethic, but uh, Aaron said they had to go back to another one. He's not had much luck with keeping shirt numbers. Seems like 32 will be the rest of his career, supposedly, so that's good news for him. Chris Smalling, the block, it's going to be a corner. And uh, Chris Smalling, he really is developing into one of the best uh, centre-backs for England at the moment. Since that uh, red card he received in the second Manchester derby, Chris Smalling has come from nowhere. 
in swinging corner. Out comes Romero and uh, Harry Kane is not able to put it down enough. It was an open goal, but uh, I guess Smalling was there again. And uh, I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a goal kick. It is. So Harry Kane actually skied it completely. Lucky. Bohino heads it down. All to Chadley. It's a bad loss of the ball for Sadio Bohino. Did not really make much of an impact thus far. As we approach the half hour mark. Manchester United also signing Denny Rowe, uh, Denny Rowe, Danny Rose, my apologies, and uh, Tin Yedniv, which is an interesting one. 19 year old from by uh, Labour Cousin. Rumours that maybe having a Hernandez could be going the other way as payment for him, or part payment. Victor Valdez has signed for, I think it might be Real Madrid or Sevilla, I'm not sure actually. Victor Valdez is gone. And uh, obviously, most of the youngsters in the Manchester United Academy are sent out on loan, as you can expect. Except for Andreas Pierre, he's actually stayed, supposedly. But there is still time, as the transfer window is still open. And once again, speculation surrounding that man, Aaron Henwood, who actually signed a five year contract at the end of last season. So I guess he's tied up. And you can see why with this work ethic. Look at this. Henwood is powering through the entire Tottenham players that take him on. Henwood just oozing confidence. That's a great pass from Herrera. And Aaron puts it over the bar. And Aaron Henwood already is looking up for it. That's a, that's a great attempt, by the way. He skies it, but Aaron Henwood with his confidence. He used it at the end of last season. Unfortunately, it was only good enough for four places we said. Only creating a chance under uh, Herrera. That was a great pass, by the way. Here's Chadley. Tottenham really just need to keep it amongst themselves. As much as they get the ball, you know they will make something. And Kane deflected off Chris Smalling. Aaron Henwood headed it down. And he finds Young with it. Wonderful pass from Ashley Young as well. Oh, greatly left. Manchester United playing wonderful stuff here in this first half. As we approach the end of it. There's Lamella. Oh, oh, and the quarter side, but Aaron Henwood once again is right there. So alert, Henwood these days. More alert than usual. Not to say he isn't, but I uh, haven't really read that play really well. And Malay, there's a gap left. There's a confusion between the Tottenham players, but Dembele will shoot anyway and he's wide. And I don't know what was going on there, but Dembele actually collided with his own player. I believe that was Harry Kane he collided with. Actually, no, Kane's there, so it was somebody else. But uh, a bit of an opening there for the Manchester United defence, who uh, Paddy McNair joined in Chris Smalling today in the centre-back position. And uh, uh, Phil Jones is recovering from a block cock he suffered. And Marcus Rojo isn't fully fit either. Central defence and Yedniv has made the bench in this first game. Yeah, the likes of Yedniv and Danny Rose are to cover for the losses of fullback and Raphael and Luke Shaw has been rather injury prone in the past, although that will come down to his age. He'll get better as he goes along, I'm sure. Here's Lamella. Give a short ball. And well played by Paddy McNair to gather it and clear it away. Henwood loses it. Once again, reads very well and gets it back again. Antio Damien from FC Torino. Ashley Young uh, came alive last season. That did Marilyn Fellaini. Two of the most criticised players in the Manchester United squad had their best seasons in the Manchester United share. So Morgan Hull was right to put his faith in them. Three minutes, of added time. Uh, three minutes of added time, my apologies. Uh, Davis played a square ball to Carl Walker. Uh, Manchester United possible target, although they got Danny Rose instead. McNair, that's not a good pass. Harry Kane, picked up by Darmian, and he clears it. Wonderfully played by Darmian. Really highly rated from Torino, and looking to be the part. It was Manchester United's debut, he did really well there. Dembele to Kane. 
and try to pay it back to Dembele, but he's out of position. Luke Shaw will clear it. Here's Henry. Here's to Ashley Young. Still some time. Manchester United with one last chance. Ashley Young goes by the defender. Young with the cross. Picked up by Rooney. And the touch was uh, be poor, although Rooney is called back for an infringement. Tottenham free kick. Handball there soon. This will probably be the last kick of the game. Well, half rather. Swimming. Hit by Paddy McNair, and that is the final action of the first half. Manchester United playing some wonderful stuff in this first half. The only thing that really is missing from this game is a goal. Ball shooting from Tottenham. Not the best from Manchester United either. The finished product is the problem. And that leads to a scoreline of Manchester United nil, Spurs nil at the break. Wonderful stuff, but the end product is missing from both teams thus far.